Analysts say the group's acquisition of the broadcasting and content business of TISO Black Star Holdings, including its publications such as Sunday Times and Business Day, is set to significantly transform the media landscape in South Africa. Since Friday, there's been a positive reaction to the news, with the share price rising by 17.85% to close at 3.83 cents per share. To make sense of this acquisition is Mandla Lamba, who is Chief Investment Officer of Verity Hest. Welcome to our program. Thank you. What do you make of this acquisition? Uh, it's a good transaction uh, because it will help <coughs> redress the monopoly that has been in the uh, media industry where there's no much black participation. Uh, now we're seeing, uh, after Segunjalo, another player coming on, becoming a major player because the units acquired from Blackstar are big units, Financial Mail, uh, Sunday Times, those are big names. So there will be a total change in the media. This is a large transaction. When you say total change in the media, we have actually seen been, um, you know, a statement coming from Dr. Iqbal Sev, who, who says, I want you to, to just give us an interpretation of what he wants to tell us about the media landscape when he says that uh, regarding this, there's going to be transformation in the media. And he's quoted as saying, the acquisition was significant for South Africa's transformation. And he's giving a background that when Sekunjala acquired the Irish-owned independent media in 2013, the company embarked on intensive transformation with the sole purpose of leading a new media revolution in our country, not one based on race, but on the message and the narrative. So when it comes to the issue of race and the media, is it trying to tell us that actually the media has been race-based and they actually want to have a level playing field in terms of news coverage that is not slanted towards the interest of white monopoly capital or and the likes? Okay, um, the, the media has not been race-based, but the control thereof has been. Because, you know, um, most of the big uh, media houses in South Africa are controlled by white uh, uh, structures that are not black participants. So what he's saying, Dr. Iqbal Sev, there is that now there will be a change in terms of control of the media. Whether or not that will work for the benefit of the general population, but that's, that's the direction this transaction is leading to. Mm. So when it comes to the unions, they're saying that... This is actually leaving a sour taste in their tongues because they've been negotiating with Tiso Black Star and there was supposed to be a job bloodbath there. And given that there was going to be retrenchment, couldn't this transaction come at a better time because it could at least save some jobs? The truth of the matter, I'm glad that the transaction happened because of that, because many people are going to lose their jobs, mostly hardworking uh, journalists, and they would lose their job. But uh, this transaction would save those jobs. So I don't understand why the unions would be angry. Um, even mm. if they were to negotiate a severance package if the companies were to close down, still people would still be out jobs. So what Le Lebasha did was to save those jobs. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the acquisition is a welcome affair in the markets. They reacted positively. Yeah. However, there has been a question regarding if you have the people of the likes of uh, Dr. Iqbal survey uh, complementing this acquisition, was the link of him testifying at the State Capture Commission together with uh, the witnesses that are linked to the unions about the involvement of uh, you know, transactions and the implications of EOH regarding PIC's funding and the likes. What do you make about a sentimental attachment uh, and you know, like the branded association with the State Capture Commission? Uh, this, is, this is a very difficult time in South Africa. It's a good transaction, but the question also lies with the motive of the transaction. Um, fortunate enough, they bringing people with experience to come and, and, and uh, help, but the question is, what's the motive? Uh, everyone knows that the newspaper print has been on the decline and digital has you know, come over and pushed back the analog in the industry. The question, Colin, you should be asking, what is the motive 
of the transaction. Then if you get the motive, then you'll understand uh, what this transaction means. What could the motive be besides these fundamentals that have been laid on the table? Because an acquisition could mean a change in strategy that works to the advantage of Tissot Black Star. But tell us about the acquirer's motive. What's your interpretation? I, I, I respect Libashe a lot. They've done quite a number of good investments, including EOH. But uh, unless they have a they, they rather cutting edge strategy to turn around the cash losing assets, then someone would have to f find out what, what the motive behind that transaction is. Otherwise, as far as uh, economics are concerned, it, it doesn't necessarily make a great economic sense. So how do you think uh, the, the, the landscape of its share market and its sustainability in a, a long run do you think that it will be a stock to consider? Uh, given the fact that, uh, remember, the acquirer is a private company, which now means these assets will also now no longer belong to a publicly traded company on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. The control of the company now will be a different move from what it used to be a publicly traded company. I believe in the capability of Libashe leadership that they will be able to steer this, but I would really love to know the, why, what was the rationale behind the transaction, uh, given the fact that the industry is, is not doing so well in terms of print. Maybe they have a new strategy they want to implement with this transaction. I don't know. Only time mm. will tell. But, but it seems like in their statement, they are confident that people have not stopped reading newspapers. They still continue to buy them, even though, as you know, the market has really declined in terms of circulation. So what, what, what strategic direction will this acquisition take to so Blackstar? And I mean, like the number of people who were supposed to be retrenched has yeah. been reduced significantly. But it doesn't mean that uh, jobs are not under threat. Yeah. Um the paper, the, the papers like uh, uh, Sunday World, those are the, the tabloids. I do believe they'll continue to thrive. They'll continue to sell because they sell to a certain uh, um, market class that buys those newspapers. As for me, I can't remember the last time I bought a newspaper. So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the blood, the, the blood bath in terms of jobs cut were saved even if they will be in the future. It will not be as deep cutting as it would have been had Libasha not saved. Mm. All right, I, I, get, I, I get your point, but yeah. thank you very much for making time. And of course, we had actually uh, extended an invitation to Libasha to come and comment on their acquisition so that we can actually make sense out of this. But of course, uh, they uh, said that they will comment at a later stage and send us a statement which we have already alluded to at the beginning of this interview. But I'm speaking here to Mr. Mandla Lamba, who is Chief Investment Officer of Verity Hest. And of course, uh, right here on SABC News, we take a break. And when we return, the program continues. Stay with us.